I, th I think that we would be in much better situation if we were able to limit our uh, guns, that is the guns that we can just own freely, uh, to what the guns were in, uh, what was it, 1779 or something, when the Constitution was written, I may be off in a year or two. Uh, the uh, Founding Fathers certainly didn't anticipate these uh, multi-automatic kinds of guns. Why hasn't anybody, or could somebody, I'm not a lawyer, could somebody bring a case saying, this is what the Constitution says, we will interpret it in terms of the times in which it was written, and any other guns become a privilege, since they're dangerous like cars, and would require licensing, etc. <laughs> you are trying to be too logical here. Uh, and that is, a, that is, that is a, a struggle. That is something a number of people have tried to bring up, as well as the um, uh, well-regulated militia as part of that phrase that, that's, not, that uh, that's often forgotten as part of the, the whole system there. Um, these are the issues that people that we'd like to, people would like to deal with, but it's been hijacked by an effort to get as many guns as possible into the community, um, where you have people believing that that is the only way that they can be safe. And so they've got, they've got that message, we've got to break that message. And I don't, I don't know exactly how we do that. I wish I did. Uh, but I think that there are, we've got to begin a process of really speaking to that as, as much as possible. Because, um, you know, we have all these folks who proclaim themselves as constitutional scholars who obviously have not read the Constitution. So it's really, it's really a struggle for me at times to, to hear them uh, come forward and say that this is what they want to do. Uh, so it is, it's, a, it's a struggle there. If Scalia is saying this and they're still um, disagreeing with it or, or not understanding it, I don't know where they are. And I'm not sure what more can be said except that we end up with enough people, frankly, uh, in, who are in elected office who are willing to take on this issue and say enough is enough. Um, I'd like to say something. I don't think that um, we're ever going to be able to change the Constitution as it's written. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's a no-win battle. What we really need to do is to make the guns that are out there safer and make certain that people that own the guns are held accountable and liable for those guns. Uh, just like we're held, we have liability insurance for our cars, we have liability insurance for our property if people get hurt on our property. Um, we need to hold gun owners uh, accountable and liable uh, for their weapons. Um, but pursuing a, a, an amendment to the Constitution or to restrict gun ownership is, um, I don't think it's practical, I don't think it's a winnable approach to gun safety.